Good morning, guys. Welcome to Gabby's Kitty Land. She likes me the most. This is Anya, and she is sure growing into our little family. Sophie comes down a hundred times a day. Gabby tasked Sophie with the job of tiring her out because she literally keeps Gabby awake all night if she's not tired. So yeah, she so waits for me now. Like I call her, and then she comes out from under the bed. And she waits. She's doing really good with her socialization. She's not socialized to dogs yet. Getting way more friendly. Molly's moved to the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, Molly's been kicked out of the room. <laughs> How come? She's scared of the cat. She's scared of the cat. Apparently the cat jumps off her and stuff. <laughs> Poor Molly. But Molly will get used to her. Gabby washed all of her blankets yesterday. She's obviously not into having cat hair on her. She's very particular about stuff. Apparently last night she stayed on the ground because Gabby kicked her off. <laughs> she stayed on the ground. She has a bed. Gabby moved her bed over in that corner. She has a bed she can go into. And she can always jump off Molly. <laughs> do you do that? Do you jump off Molly all night? See how she doesn't just run away from us? Yeah, so she's come a long that. way. She was way more skittish, doing amazing now. She used to, if we let her go on the bed, she used to run. Still really tiny. Now when she runs from me, she runs across the room and back. Yeah, we're in the process of getting her all switched over to hard food. She's not loving that. She's so cute. Look at her fur, you guys. Look at, she's like splashed with white and gray. She's like a splash color. Her tail is so cute. She's loving Sophie. Oh. I didn't mean to, I was doing this. I thought she would resist a little bit. She just goes with you. She just goes with it. <laughs> Look at her. Look at that cute face. Hi, baby. She has green eyes, which I love gray, cat, gray cats with green eyes. So some people are asking, like, if Gabby falls in love with her and wants to keep her in her room forever, is that a possibility? Of course. Which I'm hoping it is because I Oops. don't want... We are hoping it is a possibility. I She's really tiny. She looks a lot bigger because I zoom in the camera, but she's actually super tiny. She, she's eight and a half weeks she wants old. To play. Almost nine weeks, actually. So, my one concern about having a cat in Gabby's room all the time was that it wouldn't get enough attention because it's downstairs. Nobody is ever down here. And oh, I'm down here every day. Yeah, and that was my big concern. I didn't want a cat to be down here and not be socialized and not feel like it has any anybody. I know they're like more solitary creatures than like a dog and they have different needs, but they still need to, to have a connection and they still need love. So that was my big worry, but so far it hasn't turned out that way. She gets lots of love, lots of attention. She is obviously so much friendlier, you guys can see. <laughs> she doesn't hiss anymore. Yeah, she was hissing a little when we first got her and now she never hisses. She's turned really sweet. Look at how cute. I'm gonna just stare at her all day. She has beige eyes, Mom. No, they're green. You're colorblind. Oh, right now they look beige. Now they look brown, but they actually look green sometimes too. They're beige. That's brown. Beige.
you guys. We are trying to figure out all of her Western stuff. These shirts do not look good on her. They're not the right style. That'll clash with the saddle pad though. So you guys should know that this show that we're going to is casual. She doesn't have to be super fancy. Literally, this is the worst. So the big problem is finding is like something. Silky. The big problem is finding something that's flattering to Sophie's to Sophie's body. Western clothes just are not flattering. Like no matter what way you look at it, like I could never wear these shirts because they would ride up over my hips because I'm hippie. Yeah, that's really cute. Like if I had a little tiny girl, I'd buy that. Of course, is that? And what size is that? That's a large. That's a large. That would fit. Like that would not even fit Gabby, and Gabby's a size four. So that's another that's issue. True. Like yeah, there's weird. no. And the other thing is that when you're tall, it adds a whole other dimension. Like Western clothes are not meant for so. But I love these. Like how cute are they? Okay, so so we got a shirt, another shirt. We got new pants. We have a new plan. I don't know why we always wait till the last minute. But here's the deal, like the true, real deal. The so United States is very Western. You can go to a lot of places and find Western stuff. Canada in the north is not very Western. So we have this one store with this one little tiny section of Western shirts. And the sizing I find in Western is like definitely iffy. Like that shirt I showed you that was like a size extra large or something. Or a size large or a size extra large. And it would not even fit Gabby. Not comfortably. Like I don't know if it's like the way Western is meant to be worn that we don't that doesn't I don't know I it's probably the way Western is meant to be worn but it definitely wouldn't be flattering for Sophie so finding her a shirt is really difficult unless I'm gonna order something I can't order something because of sizing like clothes and boots she has to try on so I did a call or I did a message I did talk to the girl that's ordering the boots they haven't come in she has a call out to the rep the rep hasn't got back to her Sophie sees it needs a size 11 boot she's got a huge feet it's in my family my nieces you know the ones that were over not that long ago they have size 11 feet too i have size 9 gabby says gabby has size 8 sophie has size 11 it's just genetics <laughs> so um if we had a boot maker available to us then we would definitely do custom boots and that's probably how we're going to end up going but i have to find somebody that can make boots for her i can't just like order them from the states or order them from england I but they in toronto yeah like so if we get to toronto and we find a boot maker in toronto that can do it but even that if she has to go back for like other fittings and stuff that would not work for us well, but did you ask about those boots? Yeah, I asked her about the boots and she said that she has a call out to the rep and that she's gonna get back to me as soon as they get back to me. But anyway, we have a few options to try when we get home. All right guys, check out my nice little chickens. These are my nice little chickens. Look at that. It's green, it's shiny green. I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but it's shiny green, black and green. Those are the two black ones that come meet me all the time. Now I got this hay bale for the uh, for the horses and I guess it's a climbing hay bale it's a climber what are you doing on top of the hay bale what are you eating on top of the hay bale what the heck I really need to build a thing for this so it's coming this week oh coming this week I'll be building a box and hopefully these guys won't be climbing. Now we got honey that keeps going that way and gets stuck in there and freaks out every once in a while. It's because I put the two little ropes there, I'm gonna have to get a gate. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna temporarily put this big long fence there. Let's bring this gate down for first and then we'll get her out. Let's drag this gate down. Sophie, Come on. Sophie. Let's just get down. Come on, Goose, you're in the way. Goose, you're out of the way, Goose. Out of the way. All right, we dragged this there. We're just gonna get honey. Just unhook it. Just unhook them because we don't need them after I put this thing there. Or we will, but I'll just have to tie it up. Just... Honey! Honey! 
Honey, come, come. At least she's eating all that stuff. I thought that would be good, but I never electri elect electrocharged it. So it's not gonna do anything, but the other horses know that a white rope there is nothing to be trifled with, and the pony should know that too, but she's not used to it yet. So instead of electrifying it, I'm just gonna put this fence here until I can get something better. Stubborn. Why didn't you get a halter or something? <laughs> Honey! Good girl. Now you gotta get out of the way so I can move it. There you go, you're free, you're free, you're free. You're free. I think she likes being in there. She does. But she's gonna stop going in there right now. Yeah, she has better grass in there. Again, get all that itchiness off. Uh oh, here comes Stormy. Hey, Storm. I know. I even hold him down. He still has some. So, Stormy's getting ready for a lesson tonight. Gabby's gonna ride them finally. Get them ready for the show at the end of the month. Hopefully, you get on the trailer nice and easy. He sleeps behind those skids. Skids, yeah. Ollie, come here. So Ollie sleeps behind the skids. Is he there? Yeah, he's there. Where? I didn't see him. Ollie. Maybe we should make a come nice here, bed Ollie. there then for him. Oh, there he is. Hi. I see him. He's right there. He wants to come to us, but not right here. Should make his, this camper his house. Should make this camper his house, but we can make a nice house for him for the winter time. Cause look at all the wind coming in through this. Hey, Molly, sit. We'll Everybody's getting a drink. I have to fill this thing up every day. I need a bigger bucket in here, cause they're too lazy to go around. <laughs> hey, Storm, sure. gonna spit all over somebody? Spit all over Sophie. Storm holds water in his mouth and then spits it out. He's fine. He's got a mouthful of water still, I think. Is he gonna spit it out? He spit it out right there. Oh, Mr. Rooster! Shut up! Where are you? Mr. Rooster! Oh, there goes Sophie. She'll be running. Where's the rooster? The rooster's coming behind you! Quick! Ah, I'm just joking. It's really the funniest thing to see Sophie run and the rooster chase after her. And the rooster's not mean. He just wants to be near you. <laughs> That's it. He just wants to be near you. Sometimes he'll peck your feet, but not that hard. I just pretend I'm going to pick him up and he runs away. I just spent four hours editing Sophie's riding video. Oh, a chipmunk. Oh. Do you guys see him? Oh, there he is. Right there. Do you see him? He was, oh, he was right by Sam's truck. That's not a good thing. Little things like that. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 he's so cute. Get off of there. <laughs> oh, no. Do you guys see it? <laughs> oh. Oh. And she's all happy. That's the baby. Do you guys see it? Yeah, that's, that's happening now. Get down! We don't stand on hay bales. It's illegal. Oh my God, what the heck are you doing now? <laughs> Life is turning out bad. Why? Why do you think that that's a proper place to be? And you, get down! Get down. This is not a toy. Oh, you're fat today. Listen. <laughs> Out. Honestly, come out. I don't know how you got in. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know how she got in. It's how did you get in there? 
get your baby out of here. Um, huh. Let's see. I need to go get Sam. So I came out, we're getting ready to go to riding lessons. She's literally stuck. The thing is stuck. Oh my God, what the heck? I came out early, we're taking Storm to riding lessons. I said, let's give Storm his dinner first because he does really good. He had such a good lesson, the one I spent four hours editing. He did such a good job. Did it get out? No, <laughs> I can't believe this. Ugh. But it's amazing, like I love coming out and interacting with our animals. <laughs> Them. Oh, anyways, I came to give him a supper early, and that's what I found. You were right. <laughs> the goats go on the hay bale now, oh, and the horses are down eating grass. Oh, Rosita, what the hell? <laughs> what the heck? It happens every time like this, though. It's like every oop, every time. We leave, all the animals are like, I know they're gonna leave soon. Let's do lots of crazy stuff so that they can be late. Don't let her get out there. I'm gonna get you guys through that hole. Yeah, I try to get her out. Storm, come on. Come on, Storm. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. No, you're not cutting it. Storm! Come on, Storm! Ow. Oh my God, I'm being attacked. Get. Drag her that way. Drag her that way. Here, you hold the net open for her. Tilly thinks you're hurting her baby. Go. Well, get Tilly away from the bus. Ow. Oh my god. Get goats, they said. Okay, you don't need the food right now. So I, I want him to have it. <laughs> the mom is freaking out that her baby... <laughs> her baby's... Ruby! <laughs> Ruby, let's go. Oh, oh, great. Now they're all jumping up. Ruby, get... Come on, Ruby. Get over here. Ruby! Here, let me put the... <laughs> this is not how I figured life was going to be. Storm! <laughs> the famous last words. <laughs> yeah, I'll sew it to, tomorrow. It's funny because after the crisis is over, everybody's freaking out. Nobody's happy. And then after, Sam says, we need to really... <laughs> and then he tells me, like, what we need to you fix. can't feed him out here, by the way. I know, I can't feed him out here. I got, like, all these creatures. Come on. Storm, don't, don't. Don't be sassy now. Okay. Here, so... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay. I'm going back in the house. I have been really good about not freaking out lately. We have to re sew that hole <laughs> and figure out how the goats can't pee and poop on the top of the hay bale. Just another little tiny thing to add to my Thanksgiving Day schedule just before a horse show with lessons. Getting ready for the horse show. Yeah, not too much. Don't you know that you're beautiful?